testing it how I suggest you dose it to get the adequate effects consistently. And that is like this. What I would suggest you do to start dosing new pet. What's up everybody? boy Ryan and this is the Thunder Channel on nootropics on TRT on biohacking on a male performance and frankly a lot of other stuff please subscribe to the channel because hey bro I know you're gonna love the content so just hit the sub button now look you either owe me a like or you don't owe me a like and you can move on and it depends on if you get this right so I'm gonna flip this coin let's see if you get it right heads or tails pick it now pick it now land it on tails so bro if you pick tails you're good to go you can move on but if you pick heads you got it wrong and you owe your boy a like who the hell are we and who am I? I'm Ryan Michael Ballow, founder of Cortex Labs. We're a predominantly male performance company that specializes in globally shipped nootropic stacks. The most prominent of them is the Torque Nootropic Stack, which you can get in the description of this video. I'm a consultant on nootropics, TRT, erectile dysfunction, energy optimization, and hosts of other things. You can book me in under a minute at livecortex.com or down below. Another quick announcement, get ready for the Cortex Stack. It is to be in the fulfillment center's hands literally today, tracking has it, okay? So it's gonna be shipping either tomorrow or more than likely Monday, Tuesday is when it's gonna start shipping. So look forward to the announcement that I'm gonna put here on this channel. Okay, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about the proper use of Nupept. You know, one of the things that I think uh, has plagued people over many years and has given me like a lot of questions to answer via email <laughs> is, you know, the proper use of Nupept and specifically how to dose it and how frequently to dose it. I think what's common in, in the community of like, biohackers and performance optimization folks is like, you know, when they come across the compound that's supposed to improve brain performance, just like, all right, I'm gonna start taking this every day in like, you know, what is suggested on the internet to take and I'm gonna see how I fare. You know, and with Nupept specifically, this nootropic chemical that was developed to aid in neurodegeneration in Russia is people overdose it, they dose it too frequently, they're not dosing it with necessary cofactors, they don't really understand how it's supposed to be dosed and how to cyclically uh, use the chemical and then people run into side effects or you know nothing at all so just a quick primer the the predominant mechanisms of action of nupept which is this nootropic chemical an actual smart drug guys like a real smart drug are that it exhibits cholinosensitizing properties and if you look deeper into the literature this is almost definitely due to binding to or modulating the both the muscarinic and the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors if you want to have a look at like the choline cholinosensitizing effects of it you should look at this paper, Behavior and Electrical Physiological Analysis, the Choline Positive Effect of Nootropic Dipeptide, Acylproline GVS 111. That's another name for Nupept, by the way. Where they go, this fact indicates that both muscarinic and nicotinic receptors are involved in the mechanism of the cholinosensitizing action of GVS 111 or Nupept upon neuronal activity. Interestingly, though, Nupept also reduces oxidative stress and enhances the activity of other antioxidant systems in your brain. But perhaps importantly, it is increasing the expression of two critically important kind of nerve growth factors and neurotrophic factors. One being nerve growth factor, like, you know, this Italian uh, Nobel laureate discovered nerve growth factor. Her name is uh, Rita Maltacini in like the 50s. Like, you know, this is a re regenerative protein, if you will, in your brain. And BDNF, that's you know more well-known neurotrophic factor that's involved in the release of other neurotransmitters, the release of endorphins, but also maintaining the structure and integrity of neurons, axons, dendrites. I'm gonna take us to Zen Pen now, and let's just talk about how I think you should dose it. After 15 years, going on 16 years now, of seeing people dose it, seeing people get great results, seeing people get subpar results, seeing people get no results, seeing people cycle it different ways, using it myself, you know, over the last 16 years, but like in a very concentrated four year stint. This is what I've come to learn about Nupept. All right. Generally speaking, your objective with Nupept should be to enhance general cognitive function relative to working memory and and day-to-day -day cognitive functioning okay that should be your objective when taking new pep your objective shouldn't be take this you know smart drug and get some sort of enhanced response like right now and then like go to work like, these aren't recreational drugs and i kind of one of my pet peeves that people use nootropics in that regard <clears throat> yes acutely it should affect you positively if the dose is right and everything else is right i mean if your regimen sucks you eat like shit your testosterone's low you're walking around with you know terrible energy and then you take new pep and go it can't work like that's <laughs> that's not how you should be approaching new 
nootropics, man. I mean, the body is very, very complex. There's so many systems that contribute to you functioning well. But assuming all of that stuff is correct, this should be your objective, enhancing general cognitive function relative to working memory and day-to-day -day cognitive function. The typical dose range, you know, that you're going to read on the internet is 10 to 30 milligrams, okay? That is what is being suggested out there on the web. Now, I've been notorious for actually getting deep into not only the experimentation, but the consultation of many high-level businessmen over the course of the last decade, where I actually get to see whether or not, like, you know, examine.com suggestions or otherwise internet suggestions about particular smart drugs apply in the real world. And what I found after all these years is that those suggestions there, 10 to 30 milligrams, you know, just kind of dosed haphazardly really don't do many people very good. You know, some people are going to get from, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 milligrams, good cognitive function. They're going to feel pretty good. The brain's going to be better. Like memory's going to be better. Improved verbal fluency will probably be present in a lot of people that take new pep. But for some people, they're going to need to be dosing it how I suggest you dose it to get the adequate effects consistently, and that is like this. What I would suggest you do to start dosing Nupept is you should get some Nupept powder, not the nasal spray necessarily right away, because that stuff you insulfate, it's stronger, it permeates you know, your olfactory like blood vessels, and it hits the brain a lot quicker, which you would think is good, but you, you honestly want to start with powder, <clears throat> is you want to start between five and seven milligrams. This is what you want to do, okay? You want to take a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like a three days in a row schedule. Okay, so let's go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You wanna take Thursday off. You wanna run it again on Friday. And then you wanna cycle off on the weekends. Okay, so with Nupept, you wanna start a five to seven milligram dose. You wanna run that three days in a row. You wanna take a day off. You wanna run it again the fifth day then you want to take two days off and then you want to run the cycle again. Now running this cycle, most nootropics are, are neurologically active right away, but Nupept is kind of one of those interesting smart drugs where for some people it may actually require that they dose it three or four times, five times, maybe even for two weeks in this cyclical manner to get, to start noticing some of the cognitive benefits that it has to offer. Like, I don't know what the, you know, you don't know the function of your muscarinic or nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Like, do you have nicotine in the mix? Is there an anticholinergic in your regimen or has there been right so like it may take time for this thing to exert its effects particularly on the cognitive function optimization elements of brain function which have to do with the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and its receptor sites now if after two or three weeks call it let's let's just call it three weeks if after three weeks of above strategy you notice nothing from Nupept. First of all, you gotta look at your baseline and see like, what are you taking it for? If you have an energy deficit or fatigue syndrome, you, you gotta address that because sometimes you can't paint over dirt or band-aid those things with nootropics. And nootropics just like, you know, won't work. Case in point, if you drink too much, especially if you're drinking away, which gets you hangovers, uh, the, the efficacy of nootropics that next day when you're feeling hungover is going to be nil or next to nil. Assuming you don't do that and everything else is cool and your testosterone's great and blood markers look good and you have identified like why you're you know not feeling great this would be the time if you got nothing after three weeks of running this cycle to up the dose so we'll go if no effect from above considering optimal baseline up dose to between 10 and 15 milligrams now here's where a lot of people make a mistake you know people think okay i've gotten no result you know, what people actually often do is like two three days run it with five to seven milligrams and then get you know next to no result or whatever and then just give up or then bump the dose up to like 30 milligrams or 25 milligrams which is absurd you definitely should not do that with new pep this is a highly effective smart drug that may take time to work in your brain so if after no effect from the above strategy considering an optimal baseline up the dose to between 10 and 15 milligrams and run that same strategy three days in a row, a day off of it, take it again on that fifth day, take two days off of it, and then repeat that cycle. Like it, it ends up working well in that regard, kind of relative to the confines of a seven day week. Now, most people, if they're doing this correctly, are going to get a result either in week one, week two, or week three from just the first strategy of running five to seven milligrams. Again, I want to make it clear, Nupept is a potent chemical. Doesn't 
matter whether you weigh 160 pounds or 220 pounds, it's exerting its effect on neurological activity regardless of what you weigh. And you don't need a lot of this stuff, you know, in order to get results if, again, everything else is good with your baseline. So a lot of people are going to get good results from five to seven milligrams considering you actually follow those instructions and do it diligently. However, you know, if you switch to 10 to 15 milligrams, therein you, you run this same strategy, you know, for, what am I going to put for? Oh my God. Run three more weeks of above dosing protocol. Therein people are going to get, you know, m most of the people that didn't get results from the five to seven milligrams are going to get results from the 10 to 15 milligrams. Now you really, so that's basically how you should be using Nupept friends. I want to make this clear uh, as far as, you know, mega dosing or high dosing. Let me just move this up. Yeah. Mega dosing or high dosing. And that would really be in the 20 to 35 milligram range. Next to no people are going to need to do that, right? There, there is no reason to do that. If you're needing to do it to get an effect from Nupep, you've got something else wrong with neurological activity, whether it's the sleeping pill that you're taking at nighttime that's anticholinergic or it's the, the benzo that you're taking or the SSRI or otherwise drug that exerts some sort of negative activity at the acetylcholine receptor sites, you've got to look at that first. You know, and you got to figure out how to resolve that issue. You don't have to take that drug or whatever. <clears throat> But, you know, in, in instances where someone wants to be recreationally experimental, like, oh, I want to see what 20 to 35 milligrams does, then okay, go for it. I don't really suggest it. I wouldn't suggest running a cycle of that. That's really more for an acute uh, experimental recreational use to see how you fare. I mean, you're kind of just going into it like, I don't know how this is going to affect me. And who knows? Generally speaking, when you get into the higher doses of new peptide turns, from a cognitive enhancer to an anxiolytic. So instead of it like amping your brain to want to like sit down and do cognitive work, mental processing, laptop work, productive work, it instead makes you want to relax and reflect. That's basically what Nupep does at higher doses, profound anxiolytic. Okay, so that is the definitive strategy that I've come to learn after 16 years consulting all kinds of men on it, seeing like, you know, probably more than anyone in the world as far as how people respond to Nupep with perhaps the exception of of the, the, the chemicals founders, you know, these scientists in Russia and five to seven milligrams, you know, in this cyclical strategy to start and then bumping up to 10 to 15 thereafter, if you get no results after three weeks, considering your, your baseline is optimal, is the way to properly use Nupept. Now look, I built a bunch of nootropics courses and nootropics guides that contain Nupept nootropic stacks in them that are tailored and highly effective. So if you want access to those, you've got nootropics ground zero. That is a video course of yours truly. It's about an hour and some change long. If you're brand new to nootropics, that's really where you start. Nootropics masterclass is six years in. Uh, the God course is like 10 year level expertise. They're all built with high level stacks and, and pretty good instruction. If you want to skip the courses, you can do that. I've got a bunch of nootropics nootropic stack lists and books that I essentially wrote about nootropics that contain highly effective, well put together new pept stacks, as well as how to use new pep the right way. So, I mean, you have access to these livecortex.com. They're not very priced. You can go literally buy them, download them, start watching them or reading them ASAP. But guys, torque nootropic stack. Hey, if you want to skip all the BS and just get a fire nootropic that I can guarantee you, you don't want to run out of and you, you always want it by your desk. Go by the torque stack. Six to eight hours of clean energy lasts pretty much all day. Gives you that kind of dopamine-like feeling that you want to get stuff done and your brain is energized. A lot of people tell me like, all right, I quit Adderall because I'm starting taking this and it's awesome. It's way better. No side effects. I don't have to drink as much coffee throughout the day. I quit energy drinks. I am functioning at the highest levels and doing things like business-wise or work-wise or at home. Like I'm spending time with my family more like that I wouldn't otherwise be doing. Thank you for this stack. It's honestly what we get. I've rambled enough by Torque, livecortex.com, down the description of this video. Again, get ready for the new formula Cortex Nootropic Stack. This thing is so sick. It is highly intelligently put together in a way which exerts a, a perfect symphony, a perfect synergy, a pristinely functional nootropic stack that is put together in a way which gets you noticeable instant results, specifically in terms of stimulation, but also focus and flow. Look forward to the Cortex stack. It's literally at the fulfillment center as we speak. It's landing there today. They've got to unpack it and store it on the shelves and stuff. And so it'll be shipping either tomorrow at the very earliest 
earliest or more than likely Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll do an announcement on the channel, so look forward to that. All right, everybody, it has been a pleasure hanging out with you. Hope you're having a great day. What is it, Thursday? Yeah, let's go, man. Weekend's here. You know what? It's already, the seasons are already changing here in Pittsburgh. Like, it, it rained for the last two, three days. That's always the indicator. It's been chilly. Like... You know, the summer was great, but I'm ready. If you're going to if you're going to give us a cold shitty winter, let's just let's just fucking do it, man. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Hope you guys are ready for it too, and I'll talk to you in the next one.